My name is Bernadette Park and I joined the hospice catering team in 2002. Then in 2008 I was lucky enough to be given the opportunity to train and become a cook. My name is Barbara Cowan and I've been a ward volunteer at the hospice for just over 21 years. Because of the care that my dad got when he was in here, one of the things we as a family remember was that he said he felt safe in here. So when my work life changed and I had the opportunity to come, I decided to apply to be a volunteer. She does all these little jobs that otherwise we would have to do, like providing the teas and coffees, helping us to serve up the meals, stocking up the unit kitchen. She also goes around after me if I'm unable to get some of the orders from the patients. A lot of people will think, well, why are you doing this? It's a very sad, gloomy place, but it's a very happy place to work in the hospice. And you do get an enormous amount of pleasure feeling that you've actually made a difference that day. Well, having our volunteers at the hospice makes an enormous difference. They bring a whole load of other skills with them as well. They ease the workload. They give their time for free. I really feel they want to do this, otherwise they wouldn't do it. They allow you know, the nurses to do nursing work and the care assistants to do the caring. Certainly down on the unit without the ward volunteers, they would have to be making teas and coffees for patients and for visitors and we're very relevant to the hospice and very much appreciated by all that we do. It's a great place to be. There are so many places you can volunteer in the hospice that a slot would always be found for anybody that suited their particular skills. People are much more knowledgeable about the work that goes on in here. And uh, even those that are a little scared when they do come in, they just see it as a, as a very happy, wonderful place. I think sometimes when a patient who's come in and hasn't been eating very much, and they come in that day and you'll sort of say, or would you maybe like a little soup and maybe a little jelly or custard? And they eat it and they say, do you know, I haven't eaten for three weeks or four weeks, but that was really good. That certainly gives you a nice, good feeling, you know, definitely. Mm -hmm.